Hello, people. I need to talk to you about a situation that's going on. Angel Gotti just lost her dog. And I'm going to play a little video and dedicate it to the dogs toward the end of this video. But it made me think. I have seven sisters, some of the strongest women I've ever known. And, you know, I have a sister that uh, raised a child as a single mother in New York City. Uh, I have another sister that overcame everything that happened during her life and has a successful, thriving martial arts business in New York. And these are amazing women to me. I have a privilege of meeting another amazing woman, a woman that I fight with. We argue because she's a tough woman. And I was thinking, she's on here all the time and she takes all these hits because her family gets attacked. And people wonder why she stands up for her family and fights back so hard. Well, it's her family. And when we talk about tragedy, first of all, people will say, oh, Angel Gotti, your father was a killer. Your brother was a killer. Why would you defend killers? Because that's the family she was born into. And she's seen a side of these people that people out here in the public don't. You know, the media creates these monsters. So we have a group of people. We have thousands of people that come into this, uh, this genre. And some people are wickedly mean. Instead of attacking me, they'll attack my relationship with my brother. That's the cruelness of them. It's never a one-on-one -on -one thing. They got to pull your family in. And people say, we don't go at the families. But every time you say to Angel Gotti, oh, your father was a killer, you're going after her family. So what's the difference if, what gives anybody the right of saying that if they don't want their family going, uh, people going after their family? Sure. Are these people, is John Gotti a, uh, a figure that's going to be well known for centuries? Yes, but it's still her father. And I look at it this way. We're lucky enough to have Angel Gotti in this genre. I'm lucky enough to be able to pick up the phone and talk to Angel Gotti. And she's very sad today because she lost her dog. I'm going to play a video and it gives you kind of an idea. Angel has a thing on her uh, page that says, um, I, I will take my an animal, my dogs over uh, people. I feel the same way, and a lot of people do. It's just the way it is. And uh, she's sad because this her dog's been with her for 13 years. I got my Polly. When Polly goes, uh, I don't know what I would do. I, I dread the day. But this stuff happens. And, you know, I was thinking about all the tragedy that Angel Gotti has gone through and the way she's attacked on here. Uh, she talks to me about Joey Scopo. Now, Joey, good looking guy, a friend of the family. She knew him well. One day he gets murdered. That's it. He's gone. Tragedy. Bobby Borriello, same thing. One day they see him, the next day he's gone, murdered. And people will say, well, they chose that life. Yes, they chose that life. But Angel Gotti did not choose that life. Angel Gotti was born into that life. So if you're born into a life, you're going to defend the people that you're around. Any one of us here would do that. Any one of us. People love the people they're around, no matter what they do. Or what their reputation is. Because most of the times... They know the good side of them. And all these guys have good sides. Except Sammy Gravano, of course. Because we see how he acts on here every day. And people don't, may not want to hear this, but I'm just going to be straight. I mean, think about the loss that this woman has had in the last 20, 30 years. You have her, she had to watch her father die in prison. And people say, well, he chose that life. Yes, but she didn't choose that life. But she, and so she had to watch the man that she loved as a father die. There's her brother, Frankie, gets hit by a car. She went out in the street and watched him die. Her ex-husband, Louis Albano, died in the house where she is, died in the, the door, her daughter's bed, 
more tragedy. And, you know, it, and then you'll still have people cruel, so cruel on here that they'll attack and say the most horrible things. You'll have people say Frankie's mini bike and they use it. And you guys are going to choke on a chicken bone or die in hell for doing something like that. We just don't understand until, you know, I never knew, I never really thought about what Angel Gotti goes through until I met her as a friend. And our relationship has grown and grown. She has a wonderful daughter. Her son is a great father, works hard, does everything with his children. That's the Angel Gotti that I know. But I also know the Angel Gotti that don't take no BS and she'll fight back anybody any day. But she has such a good heart. I'm sure I can ask that her to, to help me in any way. She gave me the honor of helping her with Patreon. And we're on that together. She didn't have to do that. There's a million other people she could have done that with. There's more. There's people that could have that had experience that she could have done that with. Uh, agents that would have done something like that with her if she really wanted that done. But she said, no, of course, Lee, you could do it. And she also let my partner be part of it, too. And Marla. Angel met Marla on here. They become good friends. Angel met Angela. Well, I'm not sure where they met, but Angela's on here, and they become good friends. Angel has a lot of friends on here. You know, when we started the Patreon page, you know, we have a lot of women on that page. You know, they say only 5% of the genre is women, but uh, half of the uh, Patreon page are women. So I think that the people that, that are her friends and now they, they say some really bad shit about her. I can't understand you. There's a couple of yous that, if you remember correctly, Angel defended you guys, even when she knew it was a lost cause. She still defended you, even when she knew that you were probably guilty. She still defended you. When people attack, attack me, she defends me. Who can ask for better friends than that? And eventually, they'll stick her in the back. I don't think that that will ever happen. I think Angel and I will have fights. Heck, tomorrow we might have a fight. But I will still sit back and miss her and want to pick up the phone and talk to her. Because she's my friend. Not because she's John Gotti's daughter. Because she's my friend. I've developed a friendship with her daughter. I like her daughter. She's a good woman. She works like a she works 60 hours a week a week. She's uh, pregnant and she still works like a dog. This is the people that I came to know. And it's funny because I felt like I lost my dog today when her dog died. That's what happens. You know, I love animals. And they and when I and when this happened today to her, I went to Polly and I hugged, hugged Polly. It might sound corny, but you know, you guys sitting at home, you're all kind of corny with your animals too. You act like a bunch of tough guys, but if anything happened to your animals, you would cry like a baby. I'm gonna put something up that Angel put up about a year ago. And these this is Chanel. Uh, and Gucci. And um, I didn't know she had this until I looked for it. But I want to put this up. And, and then I'm going to play it. Okay, people, here we go. All right, Chanel, come here. Chanel. Not you. I called Chanel, not you. Not you. Not you, Lola. I called Chanel, not Lola. And 
Here comes Shanali. There's my little baby girl. There's mommy's girl. She's so pretty. She's dirty, but pretty. And what about Gucci? Gucci. Want a treat? Yep, I know it. All right, come on, I'll give you a treat. I wanted you guys to see that because that's who she is. And, you know, I have to remember that when I get mad and we have little arguments. She'll stick up for somebody and I'll say, well, I don't like that person. And she'll go, well, Lee Cole, I don't care. That's my friend. That's the kind of relationship that we have. And I will take her side. I'll be at her side during any of these horrible, stupid battles that we have on here. But I want people to remember one thing. Think about the loss. Listen, I know there's people in here that have had a lot of loss in their life. There's no doubt about it. I've had a lot of loss. I've lost a, two brothers and a sister all within the last three years. And um, it's a horrible thing to lose people that you love and they're close to you. But as we get older, we lose more people. So if you're young and if you're 20 and 30 and you think that, you know, you're unbreakable. I thought the same thing when I was that age. I remember I went maybe a quarter of a century not thinking about death. Then all of a sudden death came. Everybody around me started dying. But Angel's going through this her whole life. She had no period of no one dying. There's always been some type of tragedy. And that's why I say she's the strongest, one of the strongest women I've ever known. And I'm sure her mother is just as strong, or her daughter, because they've all been part of these losses. So I want you guys to really reach out. Go over to Angel's page and just look at that Chanel and uh, Gucci. Chanel and Gucci. Who would name their dog Chanel and Gucci except Angel Gotti? <laughs> but I made this because, Angel, I want you to know that people do care. People do understand what you're going through in your life. And uh, when I see how strong you are, it gives me incentive because I've lost so much in the last three years. And I know that you're part of that culture that I'm from, part of that. It's a certain group of people. When you lose so, so many people, you can do two things. You can get strong, rise up, or you can fade away and die because of a broken heart. And people die of broken hearts all the time. Happens every day. And uh, the fact that I know I have Angel Gotti and I can talk to her on the phone and know that she's suffered some of this worse than I've suffered with family and death and being attacked every day in the newspaper, seeing her family brutalized, seeing her, her the brother and father that she loves locked up in prison. And you're talking about for maybe she's seen this for a quarter of a century of, of her father in prison are her brother in prison. People locked up, not in just in prison. We're talking uh, federal lockup. We're talking uh, supermax, where they can barely go see the people they love. You know what? You guys might think that this is corny, but I got to. I, I just had to say it. And once again, you know, I wish Angel the best, and. Uh, it hurts, too, because I figured, you know, there's two dogs always together now that one dog's going to be by itself and wonder where its partner is. That's the sad part. But when I see stuff like this, I say to myself, give as much of your time you can to Polly because you never know when it's going to happen to you. So, people, if you have your animals, give as much time to those animals as you can. And, Angel, uh, we love you. And... Um, we're here for you always. You go pick up the phone and call me. 
And uh, I know that you're hurting today because you are nowhere around. You, you know, you send me little tiny texts. That's not the angel I know. That's an angel who's a lot of pain. Okay, people, take care. Thank you very much.